Hey, what's happening, everybody? This is Robert the Leather Cowboy Muhammad right here, Premier Leather Crafters in the dirty, dirty, the dirty south is where I lay my head. And I'm back with another video to show you guys another fun, small project, inexpensive project that's fun, creative, you can do a lot with it, and you can, on top of that, as you already know, make a lot of money from it. Today, what I'm going to get off into is really um, a little, it's a project that was completely by accident. Never, ever have I ever got off into leather jewelry. Leather jewelry. I never got off into it. I had a client that come in from out of town and he had a particular piece, actually two particular pieces. Now, I've made the leather hair bows before, which is one um, project that, that was requested for his wife. And then his daughter had a request for a for leather jewelry, which encompassed or it encased the infinity bracelets. So from that, I went on to Amazon and bought 50 of these little things, these little infinity brace, these little infinity charms. These right now, to my understanding, are very popular. They are being requested a lot. Um, and so the smallest quantity that I could purchase for the best economic uh, price was a bag of 50. They come in a little bag like this of 50. So to give you guys just an idea, uh, to for the amount of money that we charged the client, uh, I went ahead and made two pieces to that in order to justify for me to make them. So all she really wanted was the charm or the bracelet. And then I just threw in the necklace. Now you can buy these little hooks at your local um, Michaels or your local Hobby Lobby. You can just buy these little, little rings that attach to that. But this is leather rope, a leather rope that was put together. And then again, you can also buy the little end caps to put this together. So this is the leather necklace here. And then the bracelet, if you guys will give me a quick second, I'll run and grab it. And this is the leather bracelet that we put together to match that. So if you guys were to see that, this is all matching jewelry. I, again, I never got off into doing leather jewelry until this customer here, this client here. So we did a, I did a matching uh, bracelet as well as the necklace. And then again, again, boys and girls, this can generate a lot of bank for you in the end. So the two pieces, the two pieces together as a set, uh, along with the hair bows, you know, we came up with a nice price to doing that all custom work. But I was left with these. I was left with another 48. So what can I do with those 48s? Cool. Fine. So I went into the brainstorm moment. By the way, War Eagle to everybody's out there. Uh, it is football season, and so, you know, down here in the South, either you're Auburn or, Al or that other school. You know, we don't talk about that other school on the on the uh, capstone over there. We don't talk about them. But in Alabama, it's all about this is our NFL. So, back to the video. Uh, so, my, my mind went to racing, and I'm like, what can I do with the rest of these 48s? Now, the entrepreneur side of me said, you know, you just, even though these are already paid for, and all of that, uh, what I'm going to do with these. So a friend of mine got to checking and looking around online and saw that these infinity bracelets or the infinity charms are very popular right now, which is leading to this video of where I'm going to take the remaining 48 and make up a whole bunch of bracelets and charms. So we're going to probably do about 24 bracelets and 24 uh, necklaces. Uh, might even throw in a few chokers in there just in case. I don't really know how that choker thing will work, but I kind of like the necklace and the bracelet combo. So first thing first, I wind up taking a bunch of scraps and cutting these down to just uh, some maybe one inch strips. One inch strips. And now the great part about this is you can expand this to a whole different bunch of other pieces if you would like. So the idea is 
once I, no tooling work is required, really, because the bracelets are going to be that small. But we, I'm not going to do any tooling work, but I'm just going to simply put these together and make a nice bracelet out of these. And I'm going to show you guys. Let me angle down this camera again so you'll know exactly what I'm doing off camera. So let me adjust and angle. I think you guys can see what's popping and what's happening. Let me get you some light so we can know what's going on right here. Okay, so basically I'm just taking these charms and I, I had some leather lace. And to attach this to where it will be stationary, I'm going to uh, weld wood the two attachments together. And I'm going to run these down these little holes right here that I come up with. Now, you just don't want that to be plain Jane looking like that and leave it. So, I had these little conchos. Well, just to show you guys how this is going to put this together. And I'm sure you guys are smart enough. You've been rocking with me long enough to know that um, I'm going to speed this process up a little bit. But these are what's going to permanently affix. affix these. So I'm going to run these down into there and that little leather lace is going to attach to here. I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Quick, inexpensive, um, and you can generate a lot of money off of these simply because it is leather. And now, of course, I'm going to dye this Dye the strap, and you can dye the strap any kind of color you want to. Um, now, online, these are running about, these are running anywhere from $15 to $40, depending on the crafter. But that's how it's going to work, just like that. We're going to attach that just like this. I think you guys can see that. I'm hoping you can see that. But it's going to attach this way. And I was at Tandy one day. And they had a discontinued sale on these. So anytime you're in your local Tandy store, try to go to that discontinued shelf. And you can find a whole lot of little hidden jewels over there. Now the tool that you will need for this is just your punch. So of course to punch your holes. And an X-Acto knife. An X-Acto knife is what's cutting these little slots for these little uh, diamond-shaped, dome-shaped, triangle shaped conchos now that's going to hide the hole that's going to hide the hole from where I took um, the leather bands into that that's going to be like a little hidden thing so and once you push all of that down and you'll fold it over you'll fold these over here and you'll fold the little pins over to hold the, your, your your conchos in place or your these little dome diamonds in place and then you come back with a nice leather lining on the back side to conceal all of that. Uh, it'll hide your, your, your tucking strip, your lace. It'll hide your dome wraps or your concho pins. And it'll also just make it all look nice and uniform. So now, of course, once I get all of this complete, you guys can always go onto my Google page or my social media page and see the finished products. Um, and sometimes you can just go real crazy with these. You can bling these all the way out if you want to with these little conchos. Or you can get creative and go concho rivet, concho rivet. Or I don't even know what you'll technically call these. I'm going to have to get the proper name for these. I wouldn't expect they'd be called conchos. But let's angle back up this way. Okay. So you guys can see what's happening. But this is what we're rocking with right here. It'll look sort of similar to like this. A nice little bracelet. A nice little inexpensive bracelet. And you can finish that off with snaps or a button, um, a button rivet, anything that'll just make it hold in place. And these again, boys and girls, these generate anywhere from 15 to 40 bucks. You can sell these to customers and clients. Now, if you wanted to do a little tooling work, you can do a little tooling work. Nothing is stopping that from you doing some tooling work. But you get the basic on the construction part of how this is going to go together. And just going to, uh, now these I'm going to stick with just a dark brown, probably do a few blacks, 
Uh, even if you uh, had some extra uh, skin laying around, some ostrich skin or snake skin, you can put these over on anything. Because they're silver, you can work, you have a lot of room to work with. And that's going to be a nice bracelet for somebody, even with the conchos and the infinity base brand on there. I'm going to let these probably run on my page for about 30 to 35 bucks. You know, now you can do a quick sale. Uh, again, if you got a ton of scrap laying around, this is why leather crafters don't throw away anything. You don't throw away anything because you can take those scrap pieces and make other pieces out of it. That probably that's not even in your wheelhouse. So if you are a, a, a custom holster maker or you, you make a knife sheath, you still we still have a lot of scraps left over. You can take those. And sometimes now the marketing side of me says when a customer buys a belt, I can take uh, these little uh, infinity symbols, which you got. A, I got a bag of 50 of these for three bucks, three dollars and 50 cents. Plus the shipping and handling. You know, if you're a prime member, you can get that shipping free. Um but I can take these infinity symbols and I can put these on a belt and then you can sell the belt and the bracelet as a set. And these bracelets can go as wide as you would like them to be or as narrow as you like them to be. I kind of like the narrowness of it because the, the infinity sign sits right in between that. And you don't have to do any tooling work. Now, me, I'm not doing any tooling work. I'm just doing decorative work on here. And then, like I said, just moving these in and out real quick. Now, if you wanted to do a quick fire sale and make a quick 600 bucks, I mean, that's the way to do it, boys and girls. Is just to take you a lot of scraps, and then you can pre-make all of these different sizes. Do you some sevens, seven and a quarter, seven and a half, seven and three quarters, and eights. Um, and then, you, of course, you know, as the size gets bigger, then you can add on an extra five dollars or so. But these will be very popular. You can check these out, man. They have these all over Pinterest, all over the internet, you know, all over Etsy. And like I said, people are selling these anywhere from fifteen to forty dollars just for this little piece of work right here. And this is another way how you can take simple, small projects and make a lot of money off of these simple, small projects. And it's a simple attachment just with the leather lace. And then by it being dark brown, this is going to all also hide that dark brown lace. That's what's holding your infinity uh, symbol uh, attached to it. So it'll all blend in nice and neat. Again, you guys can check and see the finished product right on, like I said, on my Google page. If you're attached to Google, just Google PremierLeatherCrafters.com. I mean, not PremierLeatherCrafters.com, just Premier Leather Crafters. It'll pop it up in, my, in your Google search engine. Uh, you can check me out on Instagram, Facebook, um, Twitter, LinkedIn, all of those pages. You can check me out on those and see the finished products on there. And um, again, you guys will see that they'll be up uh, up for sale and you can make a lot of money. And you can do these in your, even in your spare time. So even uh, Christmas is coming up. The, if you haven't started your Christmas orders, you need to go ahead and jump on that right now. And that's a great Christmas gift, great birthday gifts, great anniversary gifts, because you can tie that into a whole bunch of other things. Also, if you have a steady stream of clients or you have your regular clients that's always spending money with you, you can always send them that type of piece if they're in your email uh, tribe, uh, your email links, you can always send them out and say, hey, look, you know, for your birthday and thanks for being a great customer for over the however long that customer has been supporting you and spending money with you, oh. doing business with you, you can go ahead and send them a little small stuff like that just to oh. say thank you. It can carry you a long way. So from the money side of it, you can make a lot of money off of it, small projects, fun projects, or you can do them simply as thank you gifts, or even if somebody has already spent money with you, you can just slide that into their little box when you get ready to ship it out. Again, just to tell the customer thank you. Hey, this your man. The Leather Cowboy, Robert Muhammad, right here, Premier Leather Crafters in the Dirty South. 
I got to hurry up and finish this little project off because you know my team is about to take the field and we're about to shut this thing down. We got the hardest schedule in, in NCAA football and we already done jumped the ranks by taking care of the other two cats that, you know, I don't even remember their name. Hey, y'all take stay practicing, stay working, stay learning your tools, stay Keep your creative mind and your creative juices flowing, and you guys will definitely get there. Hey, this is Robert Muhammad at the leather uh, at Premier Leather Crafters. I am the Leather Cowboy. See you guys on the other side.